In the 36 years that I've been at Wellington, the one thing that stands out the most is our ability to change, our ability to learn new things and make things better. We put this plan together years and years ago, it felt like ages, sitting together around a table and thinking about what's best for students. We don't always know what's coming in education and the academic world, and so building a space that doesn't lock us into a certain model, but really provides that flexibility to grow and change and adapt to education. So I purposely did not come into our building until it was almost finished. I really wanted to be surprised, and the wow of it was amazing. There was a moment when the doors were closed and you couldn't really see the construction that was happening. And then slowly the floors get in and the paint gets on the walls and then the furniture comes in. And I definitely can recall the exact moment where it took my breath away. When our little ones walked in for the first time, they were in awe. I think they're still in awe. They love the space. We had one little boy who was leaving probably three days in, and he was holding my hand as he was leaving for the day, and he looked up at me and he goes, I love my new school. I think there's a lot of excitement about it, um, and there's like synergy in terms of like all the uh, students moving through the space at the same time, so it's, it's energizing. I think there's loads of opportunities for, for, um, for teachers to collaborate. There are students who have upper school buddies. They can just meet right here in the Commons, so very useful space for us now. The new space, that Commons area, is a game changer for us. When you see kids in it and you realize it's working, we have kids of all different ages playing and working together, is a pretty amazing thing. It's definitely a moment that kind of catches your breath. They feel at home. They felt at home immediately. We purposely put in this room things that were familiar to them. When you're looking at, especially an early childhood space, the classroom is the third teacher. You want them to have the ability to explore. They can move freely through the room and really engage in a lot of learning, discoveries, or maybe even sparking an interest. They know where they can go. They know what they can do. Everything's at their level. Everything's available to them. And they really could move from station to station by themselves working. And that's where we want to be. It's really true that there is a sense of community at this school that is different from other schools that I've experienced. The way that the space functions impresses me and it, it works beautifully. In the afternoons, one of the first things that I do is I go ahead and open my garage door. And I think there's three or four teachers that also open their garage doors at the end of the day. And so all of a sudden, like you're seeing into all of these rooms uh, in a way that it's kind of a beautiful thing to, to see happen. I mean, it just creates a lot of community in the middle school, I think. I've always felt like we've had the best program in Columbus, but now we have the facility to go with that program. Every day I walk in and it's a dream to teach in this classroom. The sun's coming through the windows, it's shining into the commons, and my own children were playing in the space. And it's that moment of, we did it. We built a school. We are top notch. We were always the best school in Central Ohio and one of the best schools in the state. I now feel like we are one of the best schools in the country.